So today I'm also working with the star I love to have around and to work with. And uh, I'm always notified, even if I forget about them because I was having them near, but I almost forgot. I'm always notified to, do, to draw a card, you know, for the day. So um, today was um, kids and their typologies and all that stuff. Her name is um, Rebecca Campbell. She also channels stuff, so it's nice to, to look at her work, I guess. But the cards are fabulous, and the thing with these cards is as soon as I buy them as a gift from a participant um, to the Pranic Festival and to the Pranic process, as soon as I got them, they were instantly included in this program. So they were meant to be part of it, and if I forget, to work with this deck of cards, I'm always there to use them, I need to remember to work with these cards, remember, 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 and what I was holding in my hands actually was the phrase, I remember, is uh, uh, to follow your soul plan. So it says below, fated life versus destiny life. Uh, I was talking to you about the difference between your life purpose, your gift, God-given gifts for humanity, what you came here to share and do. It's a big difference between those two vibrations and that's the difference between the job and the, the life mission or the, the, the life purpose. The same thing they are telling us today about the fatal life versus destiny life, which is, you know, when you live your fated life, you're basically thrown around by the laws of cause and effect, by the, by the effects of the things that you have done consciously and most of the times unconsciously on the planet. You're just reaping what you sow, but you, what you've been sowing was an unconscious sowing. So you don't know why, you're hap why your life is happening that way. You don't know what's, what's the cause that led to that effect. You're mostly discontented of the effect and you are trying to shift it by revolting, by revolting against it instead of, you know, shifting your energy. So most of the time that, that's not working and it's not showing good results. Whilst when you go and live the destiny life means that you align to what you came here to do. You align to what you have as a life purpose, why you chose this incarnation basically, why you chose to be here, you know? And uh, you align with that in a such a deep way that you can no longer do uh, things randomly. Right, you only do the things that you feel to do from from a higher state, from 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 your sense of purpose. So uh, I'm taking a moment to calibrate something here, which is important, and um, I'm gonna tell you more. I'm gonna go a bit deeper into this card that I feel has a de de deeper explanation or insight for us, and I don't wanna let it breeze by. I wanna, I feel to to. to to focus on this now and like give attention to it. Um, so um, in that state of flow, in that state of alignment where your life is uh, flowing through you and manifesting things into the world, uh, you are also receiving the resources and all you need for, for your manifestation and you don't need to worry about how it's going to play out and where you're going to find the next job or the next resource for what you need and where how you're going to, you know, it just flows to you. Life just flows to you and you re just receive and uh, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, so I'm just going to take a moment uh, to just go deeper and read about it. Uh, or, or or channel about it. It's gonna be a combination of reading and channeling, just for you to to get this um, 
this uh, insight, right, that is necessary for us now. Um, in the meantime, I would love to know how many of you are feeling that you're living your fated life, which is the laws of cause and effect that I was referring to. How many of you feel that you are on your life path and completely anchored in you, in it? And how many of you are feeling that you're living just a random stream of cause and effect uh, aspects that you never know the source of and you never know why your life is that way and what's happening and what's going to be the next step and how you're going to be the, manif the manifester of your dreams and how it's going to play out and how can you make happen the things that you need to 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 do so uh, now I'm going to go deeper into this card of I remember and with that we're going to move also into the meditation. The card says there was a moment before you were born and this is a reminder for all of you. There was a moment before you were born when you chose the conditions of the life that you're living right now. So it's not random. You've chosen them and knowing this is empowering. Because you're no longer blaming something or someone else about what you're experiencing, but you're ready to take uh, responsibility, if that's not so, too much of a big word. You're ready to take responsibility for how your life is playing out, right? So there was a moment before you were born where you chose these conditions. You plotted out the exact timeline of your life. So in big detail, not just random or um, like that. We live in a world of free will. Therefore, these moments become our destiny only through saying yes. So the moments that you've plotted for your life, the, moment that, the moments that you've designed in your life design, the things that you've programmed to yourself to live or experience, are available to you at the speed of a yes or at the distance of a yes. You just have to say yes to it. The reason you're not receiving what you want so far is because some parts of you are saying no to what you've designed for yourself or what you want to give yourself. The fated life is the one we were born into. The destiny life is the one the soul chooses. You're likely now face to face with the choice to follow the fated life versus the destiny life. So you have a turning point, as always before holidays, you have a turning point where the energy is so big and so great that you can make a different choice now. You're, you're supported to make a different choice and you do have that possibility. So when we pull this card of I remember that we just pulled now, we are reminded right? This is the card we're talking about. We are reminded that we have an option to remember and to start playing in the direction of what we've created for ourselves before incarnated. We've created this even before we were born, right? And it's all ready for us. It's all ready to roll out our feet. And we're just waiting, 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 thinking that it's someone else that it has to give us the permission to live that. It's only us that have to say yes and give ourselves the permission, actually, to live the best life that we've designed for us, for ourselves. So if you if you pull this card, you're liking, likely to be face-to-face -face with the choice to follow your destiny or your fated life. To trust the path that your soul is calling you to. And to remember that this moment was prearranged for you by you <laughs> on your life's timeline. How powerful of a message this is. Like how many of you are feeling actual empowerment from the statement that we're just doing now? How many of us are feeling uplifted? I want to just know if you're feeling this. <laughs> because I know for you now is a turning point. And for humanity, if we look at it, there's a turning point for the actual entire humanity. And we all are standing at a crossroad. 
and we are all able to shift this direction if we choose so. So it is our choice if we go on the old path or, or old conditioning that has done not much good for us and has caused us to feel depleted and uh, poor in resources and poor in um, everything uh, and, uh, and enslaved even. Or we have the option to choose the life of a, of a king, the life of um, a high vibration, right? King or queen, of course. The life of a high vibration, which implies, you know, unlimited resources, infinite energy, and uh, infinite fun. Why not? That's also available. So how many of you are feeling this turning point? and are connecting now or ready to connect to the destiny life, the life that you've designed for yourself even before coming here. How many of you want to be in that uh, stage of your life? You can type yes in the comments if you're ready, you know, you don't even know what might happen. You're being invited to remember your soul's greater plan. And you're being invited to surrender to it. How great is that? It's time now to surrender to your your orchestration of your divine soul. How amazing this is that you're receiving an invitation from the divine, from the universe, from God, if you will, to participate in the co-creation of your life instead of being swept around by fate. The significance of this message is also that it's normal for you to sometimes doubt or even fear what you have ahead of you because you don't know it. It's the fear of the unknown. It requires a lot of faith to go on a path that is new and unknown and to stay brave on it and persevere. I know that is difficult. I've been in this type of path. For a few years, I've been confronted with complete uncertainty and um, newness in my life. When I gave up my corpor corporate life and I started the spiritual um, mission, because it's now becoming more than a job, it has be been more than a job, it's been a life path. When I started that, I knew nothing about how to create resources and be supported on this path. And I knew nothing about how to teach classes and uh, write books and do healing sessions and do workshops. I've taken some class classes, a lot of classes for healing sessions, but nobody taught me how, how I can present that into the world. How can I share it to, to others and be supported by others and in the process? So it was a very bumpy road. And the fear of the unknown was surpassed by the power of faith. Just because I had a lot of faith and I had a lot of trust that the universe somehow, somehow, if it put me on this path, it has to give me all I need. So, when you're faced with that fear, it is actually a sign that you're part of the, of the your, your soul's greater plan is, is coming, you know, and it, it's starting to roll, right? And you're being invited to let go of some things and transcend some things and uh, forget about some things and start anew and remember your ancient abilities instead of keeping a grip on the old. Every hero in his life journey comes eye to eye with doubt. The only, the only way around it is faith, like I said. And the, the trust that you're part of a, of, a, of a greater plan. So what you need to ask yourself, and that's the final message of this card, I think. What are you being called to surrender as your soul's plan? What is it, what is it that it's presented to you right now or starting to lure into your life? that you are invited to surrender to and you feel that is 
part of a greater plan or it's not under your ability to control and you would love to have the answer to this on how to do it and how to stay on that path and how it's going to play out. What are you invited now to surrender to? It's a very good question. Meditate on this. Go deeper into this with the Christmas, with the holidays. Ask for guidance for it. We also created this eight-day program to guide you into it and raise your vibration to the level of your next step in life. And see how you can align to that frequency and be that vibration that is part of your greatest plan in life. Big hugs to all. We're now finally starting the meditation, but we needed to include this final message. So uh, hope to have you in this meditation of the pranic process online that completes the whole program of eight days.